Philip Zultrop, I'm the Chief Technical Officer at K Aerospace and today we're out here at the Tafaki Aerospace Center and we are currently flight testing our Kia Atmos Mark I un air aircraft. So it's an unmanned aircraft, electric, solar powered. The long term goal is to fly perpetual. It's charged during the day through the solar panels on the top of the wings and we fly through the night and next morning we recharge. So that day where you get multi-day, multi-week flight missions. It's often referred to as a HAPS or high altitude platform station. Sometimes people use high altitude pseudo satellite. So is it in space? Is it where, where exactly is it when it gets up to that height? Sometimes people like to say near space. I mean, we probably don't use it. We use high altitude. In New Zealand, high altitude starts at 60,000 feet that pretty much where controlled airspace stops. For a paddy term, it's kind of like a cross between a plane and a satellite. Yes, yeah. And no, it's actually exactly what we used to say, and it's also the functionality of the aircraft. So it's about monitoring. So for example, environmental monitoring, um, maritime surveillance. So think of illegal fishing, drug smuggling, search and rescue. And Kia is obviously the name of one of our most cheeky mm -hmm. native birds. Yes. <laughs> It's a New Zealand company. Tell yes. us about that. The main drive initially came out from our CEO, Mark Rocket, who really wanted to you know, build up aerospace here in, in Canterbury, in Christchurch. New Zealand has some very interesting advantages compared to the rest of the world. So we have lower air density. So for example, right now we're operating in an area where no flights go through. Try to find that in Europe, uh, I would say good luck. Um, ground risk is also pretty low, so this area here has actually no inhabitants, so no one actually lives here. And tell us a little bit about how big the plane is, how fast it can go. So ground, it's a very slow plane, so we're launching it from a car. The aircraft has to be light, so we don't have the luxury of a landing gear, a takeoff gear. So we strap it on top of a car, launch it. At high altitude, the aircraft gets faster. This just has to do with like air density changes. Um, and then we fly around 100 kilometers an hour. The pilots are monitoring, but they can also actively control the aircraft. So we have everything from fully manual, so, you know, just through a remote link, but we also have fully autonomous. We define the mission profile and the aircraft just does it itself. You like fully hands off and, you know, you just watch.